What's up, MMA fans? Today we are catching up with André Benkei. Welcome, my friend. How are you? Hi, my brother. I'm very, I'm very glad to be here and uh, be with you. It's also a pleasure. You know? Old friend for a long time. You are a legend of the sport. Thanks, Benkei. It's always a pleasure to talk to you, my friend. And you always have something new uh, for the MMA fans. Now you are bringing a new... Uh, training center, amazing training center in Espírito Santo, which is a state close to Rio. If you are American, maybe you don't know. Uh, right after Rio is Espírito Santo. It's a very beautiful yes. place. The north coast, north coast. If you go to the north coast, is the uh, you you reach Espírito Santo and the, the beautiful beach over there. And, and you are bringing a new training center. Tell us, tell tell us about the whole thing. Yeah, what happened like this? I, I'm I'm traveling all over the world, working in, in many different uh, countries and and training centers, helping them to develop it. I did this in Europe. I did this in America. I did this in many, many even uh, as you know, American top team, and Black Zillas, and other great teams. And I was in, before the pandemic. I, I went to 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 build one the biggest UFC gym in the world in Pakistan, Lahore, the city of Lahore. And I went there, but I'm happily coming the, the, the pandemic. I stayed there one year without doing nothing because it's impossible to do something the, during the pandemic. And they 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 they, they wants to to make only the amateur part of the, the gym. I, I went there to 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 make the the professional professional training, the professional area for the gym. But they they because the pandemic they. They supposed to say they want to postpone because they spend a lot of money. Imagine in one year, many guys come from all over the world, stay there, they pay the salaries without nobody working. You know? And they say, no, no, we're gonna make it first the the amateurs. I say, thank you, but my 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 job is a it's, it's with, with pro only. And but I told him many things what I saw, and I I told him what he must to do to to grow up the this kind of project over there, and he. Just realized I was right on, on the whole the whole things. We keep close and keep very close relationship. And uh, I went back to Brazil, went to, to Minas Gerais to, to make my project. But he, I, I made one one uh, one great performance from uh, one FC in Asia, in Asia, in and one FC is very big in in Pakistan. And after this performance, he called me and said, "Hey, Banky, I wanna I wanna make a new a new project." And uh, I'm looking for make something in Thailand because Thailand right now is one of the uh, prime destination to to fight is an MMA too. I say, man, look, I'm MMA come from Brazil. Uh, uh, Thailand is beautiful, of course, it's beautiful. So many gyms over there right now. No, why not doing in Brazil and why not doing one states I know because when I, when I was in uh, training Eric Silva for. Uh, his performance in in uh, uh, UFC Brazil and and I went to 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 Espírito Santo right after I'm I'm left America and I got surprised with the state very very beautiful state very beautiful beats uh, modern builds a uh, modern architecture uh, safe and very very cheap and way great of life over there I say my God this is places must to be discovered by the world and I I told him about that say why not making there? And because right now Thailand's make a one billion point five millions and in uh, in uh, 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 tourism of uh, sports and six percent, no more than six percent, almost seventy percent is from the fight sport. And from the fight sport, more than forty percent is MMA. But Thailand have no no knowledge in MMA. No, they just have the 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 good facilities like a Tigers Muay Thai gym, other other big gyms over there. No. Uh, Phuket, uh, top team stuff like that. All, all the all the gyms over there was, uh, of course, good structure. That because they went there to train MMA, but it's not the country of MMA. Brazil is the country of MMA, and we have nothing. We 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 don't have no structure. We don't have good gyms waiting for that. We don't have dorms waiting for receive these people. And he said, "Thank you. You're right. Maybe you're right. Let let's find out." And then he comes here. I'm here right now in in, in State of Spirit Santo. We talk to the government; they they accept very very well the, the uh, what we're gonna do. And now we start to to build the, the one big facility over here, beautiful facility. And uh, here they have much better structure 
and then then you got it can have in Thailand as a many aspects. Like uh, first of all, uh, most of the gyms in Thailand is far away from the beach. This gym is going to be inside okay. of the beach. Let, let, let me show the the project you you yeah, just this is, showed this me. This is good to, to they see. Uh, this project is a, it's a huge project, 20, 20,000 square feet, uh, 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 20,000 uh, square, uh, 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 square feet, and uh, they have everything there. They have areas for amateurs, they have areas for, for intermediates, they have areas for professional. They have uh, a hospital inside. It's, it's going to be a very modern facility. You're going to have a food court with the foods all over the world. They have a, a party area. They have a, a, one area for, for the shows, for the MMA shows. It's going to be really like a dream come true. No? And also a dorm and a hotel inside of the complex, inside of the beach, inside of the complex. There. Like it's something uh, amazing because it's in Itaparica Beach. You can also have the the beautiful modern beach for, for you. You can get just a bike and go all over the beach and have amazing views and, and a perfect environment, very safe, very cheaper, and uh, very clean. And we have no seasons in, in Spirit of Santo. The whole season is, is perfect. And uh, also uh, the, 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 the system over here of the, of the fire department and... Uh, in the, the season of the police, everything was connected with us. They have the most modern center of disaster of uh, entire South America. It's uh, American level uh, control. Any things happen, they can control, clean, and make sure uh, all the all the all the people who come in here will be super safe. You no, know? the, the tourist is 100% safe here, and also the mats is clean for the special special cleaner for no no. No mat disease. Any any problem you have, you have a hospital inside of the of the of the complex. It is, it, it's going to be party there. It's going to be fight show there. You can rise your record. You can become a, a pro. You can only train as a pro. You can only get get lean as a fighter. It's um, it's really amazing. This is I believe is going to it's going to blow up the tourism in Brazil, and we're going to have also big seminars to the jiu jitsu. To the luta livre, to wrestling, to to boxing, uh, mundo box also is going to be there with us. No? One of those biggest uh, names in boxing and training center of boxing this is in, in Miami. They will also uh, work with us together. We're going to have wrestling wrestling training for Iran team. Everybody knows Iran is the best teams in world in in, in boxing. We're going to have a uh, 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 boxing a boxing coming from uh, Cuban. National champions in Cuba, and national also as a coach, they will control our boxing, uh, kickboxing with the best in the best in in, in Holland. Uh, two uh, great champions gonna come here. I hope one of those is gonna be Wali Muhammad. He worked with me in America Top Team. The good times when we made uh, together many champions, including uh, Jesus Cavalcante, uh, Mike Brown, uh, and and Thiago Alves. Uh, great, great names was uh, when we are working together. We probably gonna work here, and that's place too. And uh, also, uh, I hope to. I brought from Thailand a team of Thai people, and uh, and one of those best. I, I will, right now we are talking. I hope we I can do it. Is um, uh, a Brazilian guy who's a top five today in a, in a, in a multi in a multi in a multi world. And training the best champions right now in Mutai, and including all the all the all the the great camps, include also the MMA. When one FC has, I believe, two belts from from one FC. Uh, Leo Leo Elias. Uh, Leo Elias Leo Elias is. I hope I can I can bring him back to Brazil. Very nice. And also, you have a plan of having a reality show connected to yeah. that whole project so you can bring fighters from us and russia and yes, everywhere yes. during the construction we're going to 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 make one tv show or reality show but we go into the countries we show the history of the country of martial arts and we try to find new talents like we're going to make a trials special trials to find four five five six fighters for for each country 
and we're going to bring these people, we're going to bring these fighters in the end of the year when the, 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 pro, the project is be fin finalized, to the training together in the training center and the fight in the finals to be to become champions of the countries, each country, and also world champion after we, we found out who's the who's the best in each, each country. We're going to put the fight uh, to the another championship to see who's the champion of the world during this this uh, this is reality show. This is a, a base of the reality show we're gonna do. We're gonna travel all over the world and choose fighters, and they will they will train in the end by the in the facility after the facility will be there. And and BK, uh, when you think uh, the facility is gonna be ready, you have an idea about that. If everything look, uh, goes right. Look, uh, the, he. Uh, Mr. Shazad is the is the one who responsible for the construction of the UFC gym. He's the he's the CEO behind the the, the entire group who who made the who made the, the UFC gym. He made in eight months a giant gym. But this is not in Brazil. Brazil we know is a little bit co more complicated about the bureaucratic part. But uh, we have the the entire state with us. The states help us because they want to make this also. To change the to the tourism uh, mind and tourism uh, uh, politics here in Brazil and here in this state, we believe we can make it in one year and a half. One year and a half is going to be done. I'm I'm all I'm uh, just waiting for the last si signature. I'm here right now in the state, uh, just waiting for this the last signature from the government. After that, uh, Mr. Shazad go to Pakistan to start the process to everything to to. To, to bring the money to Brazil, to buy the land, to to start the construction. I believe in one year and a half, uh, he promised uh, we're going to have this training center ready. Uh, he is the man who built up the UFC uh, uh, training center in Pakistan. Yes. He says it's one of the yes. biggest Mr. in the world. Huh? Yes, the, uh, Mr. Howard Shazad Namas is a is a is a many things in Pakistan. He's a He's a member of the Olympic Committee. He's a, a Vuchu, former Vuchu champion. Vuchu, you know, is Olympic sport in, in Kung Asia. Fu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we call we know also Kung Fu and Vuchu. And uh, the, the Vuchu uh, the, the, is also a president of Vuchu. Uh, no, he's a, he's a, sorry, he's a chairman of the Vuchu Federation. He's a chairman of uh, Sabat Federation in, uh, in, uh, in Pakistan, you know, entire Asia. Inter Asia, and uh, he's a uh, he's a passionate for the sport of combat, no? And like he couldn't make it the biggest UFC gym in the world. It's huge gym, huge. It's a hundred ten square meters. Uh, it's something unbelievable. So big, it's really yeah. big. And he made it in in eight months. In, but in Pakistan, more easy because uh, it's a little bit different about the laws and and everything. But in Brazil, he's, he promised me he's going to make it one year and a half. Very good, my friend. Great news. I'm cheering for you. Good news for Brazilian MMA, for the world MMA, as always. Yeah. Not so just MMA. But like we are, like we're going to also, in this in this uh, uh, training center, we're going to have uh, the formation to referees, the formation to the new coach. Uh, they can have a, a, a seminar for new coach, new referees. Uh, boxing trainer, pads trainers, and uh, we're gonna have many different areas also to 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 make better the other sports of combat, not just MMA. Congratulations, my friend. I, I'm looking forward to see that ready. Thanks a lot Thank for the you, interview. Thank you, my friend. We are together. It was an honor, a pleasure always to be with you. It's my pleasure. Bye, bye, Benkei. Os. Como